So now we're going to leave Our Lady of the Assumption for a little bit and go across the street to visit the sister building that is Our Lady of the Sacred Heart Academy. It's the house of the Dominican Sisters of Fangio. You can tell that this is a religious house because of the amount of open light and how spacious it feels. And that's supposed to help um, the students as well as the religious here. It reminds me of the times at the seminary as well. You'll notice different seminaries, different monasteries. They always have different courtyards, different cloisters to really help with mental prayer, with studies. Um, it's very conducive to the act of the intellect and the will. So here we stand in one of the classrooms here at Our Lady of the Sacred Heart Academy. And these classrooms are sacred places, especially with having religious here, like the Dominican sisters who do an excellent job um, connecting with the girls, and, and just like we do across the street with the boys. And it's very important, as we learn from the life of Don Bosco, to, to really have this contact with the children and the priest. And in fact, it's oftentimes that contact alone which can spark a vocation. And really, the more that the priest can interact in the classroom with the children, the more open the children are to interacting with the priest, asking him questions, to want to come to the priest, to learn religion, to get excited for it, to really prosper in that Catholic faith which has been planted in their souls. It's just like the priest, he comes and he just merely waters that. And he waters it on a daily basis, feeding them that solid, sound Catholic doctrine, as well as the other academics for the sake of of creating, a, and not just creating, but, but educating a man, a man who's going to go out into the world, a man who is going to be that shining light of faith wherever he goes.